Okay. How did I end up leaving the call? I'm confused. Uh, ben ended the call because it sounded like shit. Oh, okay. Oh, this does sound like far less anus. Yeah. Well, it's not my fault that you don't like anus. <laughs> That's the best quote ever. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're all here now. That does, that does we have set the tone for the day. <laughs> I think we've safely set the tone for the day. Okay, does anybody happen to have a gift of someone, like, going incredibly quickly? What? Just, like, suddenly running really fucking fast? No. No. Okay. That's weird. (laughs) Worth asking. Uh, how do I mess with my character stats and shit? I'm setting them up initially. Oh, okay. There's the sketch sheet. Yes. Ow. <laughs> you know what, I'm probably... I, I, I just looked at my character sheet and it says, and under deity I put science in capitals. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I absolutely knew it. <laughs> It says, it says science in capital letters with an exclamation point. Science! I that knew is. it. What do you worship? I worship science! That's what I put in the, the Tumblr post. 14, 14, okay. <sighs> I don't Man, I have like no skill points. <laughs> this is what happens when you have the intelligence of dirt. Alright. There we go. Skill points in science, honestly. I do have some points in science. Oh. Okay, sketch has been successfully set up. Awesome. Right now you that. should be able to edit it freely by right-clicking on it and then hitting the gear icon. Okay. You know what? Nobody, nothing gets a second skill point until I get some other shit. I'm just that starved for skill points. <laughs> I get four mm. per level, dude. Four. Not what the hell? It's not my fault. That's, miracle orders refuse to let many as I get. You get less. Uh, than I that? get about four. Oh. Actually, yeah, I get less than that. I get four for being a monk, and I have an intelligence of nine. Uh, huh. you have a favorite class bonus you could put into that. Don't feel bad, guys. I get eight yeah, skill points every level. I'm going to kick you in your rat nut, Zach. <laughs> why am I I'll punch right that? Or more. Why, why am I right one? Why not my left? Your rat one. Oh. There, now it's fixed. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, all the skills I was going to put stuff into are int skills. Fuck um, that. My int's a 12. She's not Mine's a 9. Shut the fuck up. Oh, right. Well, maybe if you focus less on your boob size and more on your intelligence, you wouldn't have this issue. <laughs> Thank God your character doesn't ask like that. He would probably have all the boots. <laughs> What are you talking about? He probably would have nailed your character by now. I don't even know what you're talking about. The rat? Bullshit. The rat? If, if I created a character similar to how I would be... He'd be walking around. You'd have so Savan. Boots up his ass. You, you'd have Savan. Yeah, I'd have, I'd have Savan. <laughs> like, yeah, I'd have Savan. <laughs> okay. Hang on one moment. I, I, I have something I need to find. I, 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 tru- I truly would have Savon again, and there's no denying it. Except you're not actually a monk. No, I can't climb walls. And I'm assuming you can read. Surprisingly. 
just had to bring that motherfucking reading. I just had to go and bring that shit up. I told y'all, it just did not come up. But no, everyone's got to keep bringing okay, it up. Okay, I'm, I'm not sorry hard. for shitty quality on this, but... I'll show you shitty quality. I, I constitute that Elena should get extra bonuses to particular stats due to her breast size. Like, for instance, bonuses to swimming. <laughs> okay. If you float, doesn't mean you can swim. You guys, you guys have all seen um, Princess Bride, yes? No. Yes. Courtney, you're a terrible person. <laughs> um... You know the scene where Fezzik jogs the albino, jogs the memory of the albino, and hits him on the head. Uh, <laughs> you yes. Remember, you remember that scene? <laughs> yes. I've been waiting for that to happen with Rafera. Rafera jog his memory. <laughs> Passes out. I think I jogged it too hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, or even, or, or even better. Uh, who are you? I'm, I'm like I'm the brute squad. Like. Like we're, we're like we're the brute squad. Wait, you are the brute squad. I call the, oh. I call the brute squad. I want the brute squad. You are the brute squad. <laughs> uh, I love Fezzik. He was probably one of my favorites. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> I don't. Conceivable. I don't think that word means what you think it means. What did you say that word? I do not think it means what you think it means. <laughs> I just think I should tell you. Oh, I'm not. I'm not left-handed. I just think I, just think I should tell you. What? Neither am I. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Oh, that movie. So good. So good. Still probably my top movie of all time. <laughs> despite despite everything else and all the good movies that there are, still probably number one. Oh, Superman is so stupid. Hey, um, I was just wondering, if Skitch was to get uh, Ura a punching bag for Christmas, how would he react to that? Why? Have him work out his anger issues. He has one. He has one. It's called Skitch. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think I might put one in the spellcraft, but it's like, why? Why would I do that? It's It's a good idea, too. Spellcraft. Oh, so I can get a roll that maybe one time out of like I don't know, ten. Well, she, again, she wants she wants to feel like she's useful aside from being you know. Uh, I'm gonna it. focus. I try to do. I'm gonna take this character and be like, you know what? Most of the time, I try to do everything. This time, I'm going to specialize. Yes, and seeing as we don't have the bard at the moment. We need someone with spells who can spellcraft. Uh, you do all, I can spellcraft, right? Yeah, the alchemist can spellcraft. Never fucking mind. You so are fully so aware. So can I. I can. So can the inquisitor who gets like six plus int skill points. Ever fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I put like it, I'm putting a couple of points into perception, even if it's not a class skill, just because. Listen, punch. Listen, punch him, like monk, monk. Just, just, just stand there and look. Um, dumb. Handsome. Um. Boo. Boo, Grams, you're terrible. What? Wait, are you trying to get onto someone? Handsome. Oh, no, I, did, I wasn't even going for that. Jesus, you're stretching now. You were so shy. Uh, it was fucking right in front of my face. I don't know about you. <laughs> well, Soul Knight's in charge of bad puns. So. As always. So, yeah. 
Well, I don't think I need... So, I'm going to speak, get his native tongue of squeak, 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 squeak. And then someone covered him in oil, and all that squeaking was gone. Squeak, squeaky, squeak. Oh, Turns wait. out he was just rusty. <laughs> you know what the best part of it is? I can have a thing where I read scrolls, but I don't even need to prepare to detect magic, because you know Why? Because I can't tell what it is anyway. <laughs> That's the best thing ever. Wow. Why do we have? Why, why do we have her with us? I don't know what that of... spell does. I can't. Cause, I can't. Cause cause Healy McHealvich. It says right on the title. Because a Healy McHealvich and b boobs. Yeah, you could just. Uh, I mean, honestly, the boobs. Wait. If we could have gotten boobs anywhere. Hey. She has her uses, it's just not with spells. She's healing the Keelington. And diplomacy makes diplomacy. She, she, <laughs> she, she's, she, she's watched Skits drop so many times in battle and has done nothing. I declare her she useless. Didn't get to him. Your fault for being so far away from the healer. I was right behind her! On the other side of an enemy. I don't remember. I was right behind her. Don't start off that. I was behind her. I wasn't even there. Whatever you say, Reza. She let so me the have. fuck are we waiting for? I don't know. I don't know. Only she had a brain. If only she had a brain. Her she boobs has... boobs are so big. You know, the, you know the guy who played a character who couldn't read? He doesn't get to make fun of other people. He 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 was hey. he was smarter than the average person. He was he had a twelve intellect. He just never picked up the whole reading thing. Uh-huh. Hey, she has a twelve intellect too. And she can read. She can read. It's just I have a, oh, oh, to be to be fair to be to be fair. It's kind of required for someone dude, in her dude, field to know how to read. Dude, the monk with nine int can read. Again, it never <laughs> came up in the training. Apparently it did with this monk. He self taught himself. Don't start that, shit. that was that was not a part of his actual training. How do you know? Yeah, because his parents taught him and he didn't <laughs> fight it. <laughs> ah, this this reading shit is boring. I don't read like that shit. Why should I be reading when I can be punching things? Uh kicking. Uh huh. Whatever. Okay, no, are we big. ready? <laughs> I'm ready. I've been ready. While we're making fun of Rezo characters. Oh, while we're making fun of Rezo? Yes. I can read, thank you very much. <laughs> it's Sometimes. my favorite pastime. Okay, so Ouija might be joining us later if he gets his homework done in time. Pickle so pickle. I've got his characters on the map. Yeah, you do? It's just very far away from the rest of you. Checking the end. <laughs> jiggle, jiggle. Yeah. I you. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm speaking yeah. Elena's native tongue. <laughs> Her native no, tongue yeah. is celestial. You fuck. Her native tongue. Come on. We all know celestial space. Of course, we all we all know that Salon <laughs> thinks that Elena's native tongue is kind of lingus. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I what if I thought I thought go, go I honestly the whole ju- I thought the jiggle thing was a little bit more subtle. Both of you go sit in the corner. Well, I don't I don't think half the people in this chat want me to go. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh... I, I, would, I wouldn't have wanted you to, but now that you did it. <laughs> Wow. Come, up, come up with a good excuse to do that in character. And Have I told you how much I hate you today? Have I told yes. you lately that I love you? <laughs> okay. Don't, don't feel bad. It's all my hate of every single day. He still doesn't go away. Um, all right. I, I finalized my second level character sheet. Okay. But I you. It's like a terrible case of herpes. Just keeps coming back. <laughs> How did this start? I don't know. I blame, I blame Grimm for making a character. 
giant I boob. blame you for having no self-control. I blame you guys for saying, oh, her 18 charisma is in her chest. <laughs> and you well, rolled with it. it. And you then I rolled with it, so I guess it is. You already had a character with 19 charisma that had it all in her ass, so, I mean, it's fair. Yeah, you're just balancing it out. Well, it couldn't be a giant mm. S, and th- then it would all be in the back. Ben, wait. See, that's what it is. It's balancing the weight of the wings. So how do you guys uh, determine it's movement? evolution, Grimms. What? What? Like, how many... Oh, um, there's a... Move? There's a... There's comb. a... Um, on that little measuring stick right below the magnifying glass, click on it. Mm-hmm. And click on the map. And it gives you arrows. Oh, okay. Uh, that too. <sighs> and it gets sold my gas. <laughs> no, that's probably because I might be pulse up earlier. <laughs> fucking, fucking wah wah, man. <laughs> Alright, can, we, can, we, start can now? we start before this goes further south? Okay, yeah, let, let's get this started. Let's get it started off right. Mm. That. Wait, oh. is that? Already up. <laughs> Way ahead of you. <laughs> okay, so. Last session, you guys got from Gear Wind Pass over a rather uneventful airship trip where you met the cute and adorable Jinx. And then you got to uh, Arden's Calm, where you had discovered that y'all had been robbed. Well, that sucks for you guys. And Me too. Oh, Me too. you got robbed. Wait, what? Everybody <laughs> got robbed. I wasn't with the group. That's not fair. We're too you only got <laughs> robbed of your passes, which, coincidentally, you need to get out of the city. Yep. Oh, yeah, because cause if somebody robbed me of things, that would be difficult. Yeah, no, no, not, not that. So, anyways, you have been robbed, and you're currently chasing the thief into the slum section of the city. We are not very bright, are we? No. But hey, you guys wanted to go. Whose idea was this? I'm guessing Ura. How is this my fault? Because this sounds like something your character would do. In his defense, he genuinely thought it was a little girl. <laughs> so it was your character's idea. Ish. Elena was there, too. Yeah, it was partially leaning. <laughs> you, For just this, and... You listen to the chick with no Shut intelligence. <laughs> well, we're here now. Yep. You are at the bottom center of the screen, by the way, if you're having trouble finding your character. Ping. Um, I'm going to throw a bomb. Oh, yeah! Throw a bomb throwing you in a crowded town where there are guards everywhere. Good fucking luck. Rat did it. Reflex saves to catch bomb. We're in the ghetto. I don't know how this shit works. <laughs> no, you're in the capital city. I don't care if they kill foreigners. Oh, wait, this is the capital city? Apparently. Yeah, we mentioned that last time. I don't remember the shit. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I know. Alright, well, uh, since we're here, any ideas how we're going to find the person we're looking for? Like, what what, like, what does the person look like, maybe? You could fill me in, since, you know. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> the person... Kid. What the person looked like is the token 
slightly to the north of you that I am using the beacon on right now. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, uh, I guess we should uh, do perception checks. Okay. You want... No, I'm not doing a perception check. My per- actually, is my perception token up to me? Uh, y'all can eat it. I'm not doing it. I, have a I rolled a one. I know. Hooray. Nice job. All right. Like... Ferris, you think you see um, Jinx head slightly to the left after she passes a couple of women. Elena, you don't see jack shit. Hold on. It's roll. Four uh, slash roll. One D. Yeah. Whatever. It's, oh, it has ball. to be one D20. I have to put down D20. One D20. Oh, it has to be. Yeah, because okay, the okay. dice will actually specify. Yeah. Um, hurrah! You She's have completely left. lost track of where Jinx went. Hey. Oh, hey! Reza hey, got right. the highest. Unfortunately, that was a 13. <laughs> Skitch oh, yeah. can actually smell vaguely which direction the thief went. She has cheese. I can smell it. Well... Yeah, she actually kind of does have cheese. All right. <laughs> if they point, uh, Elena will start right. running that way. Refer points. I think I saw her head that way. Skitch, skitch, skitch agrees with strong men. She went that way. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Uh, that's a full 30 feet, I think. Yeah, hold on. Okay. Yeah, that's a full 30 feet. Yeah. What am I doing? I'm drawing. I don't want to draw. Don't draw. I'm a, I'm a horrible artist. It'll just end in dicks. I don't see why the game is supposed to do that. It just ends in phalluses. Oh, hey, at least yeah. this town does not somehow resemble a giant penis. That'll yeah. be the next. <laughs> it, always ends, it, all, it always ends with a dick. Always. Uh, Roll perception again. Roll perception again. Ah, I rolled it twice, sorry. Take whichever one pops up first. Fuck all. Either or I failed. Wow, that's... You guys are horrible people. Shut up. Yeah, or, uh, you still have no freaking clue? Still rolled bad. I have a mic. Uh, on. Get Skitch. on it. Skitch, you have a much stronger sense... Of where she is. You know that she is in this general vicinity. Um, me being the person with the least amount of wisdom, I'm just going to book it in her in the direction I tell her without saying a word to anybody else, so. Okay. Here. Vera, you wanna, you wanna do a roll? He's, he's half AFK, apparently. Yeah. Well then, Gramps, you can have. Uh, I already did, and I got a nine. For some reason, the dice on in roll twenty hate my. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead. Oh, holy shit! He found her. her. You know, found her. you spot her. You know exactly where she is. <laughs> Run forward. Uh, quickly, I say, follow me. And her. Sorry, one second. All this lags out. If I, I get I the, close, I'm going to glomp her. Maximum possible distance. Excuse me, pardon me, pardon me, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> How tall is Vera? Like six, six one. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> no, sorry, five eleven. Uh, uh, I shout, or I basically shout, "Oi, <laughs> oi!" And as I'm moving, I take out a shuriken. I'm gonna move over here. Ask uh, you, hi. Uh, excuse me, excuse me, pardon me. Wait, actually. I just had an idea. I forgot about something. Skitch smells Monk. sulfur. I forgot about double move. <laughs> okay. Eh? Let's see. Monk went through. Oh, I thought we could only do one move. 
but, you know. Uh, monks well, get done with it. Well, it's not a level one. If you want, oh. I could have been back here. And... Jinx crashes right into Rafera and winds up over here for a moment. Because our level one. I grab her hand and lift her up. Roll your CMD. No, no, just like lift her up to her feet. Ah, okay. But still holding onto her wrist. Okay. Stop, thief! <laughs> kiss smells cheese. Does she kiss cheese? What? Cheese. Uh. I like cheese. No, but I do think she has something of ours. It doesn't care. I want cheese. Uh, uh, we'll get you cheese later. <sighs> <laughs> we bought our boarding passes back now, please. <sighs> Jinx looks back at the group rather appraisingly, actually. And probably for the first time for some of you, you see that she is definitely no child. In fact, yeah. the bare feet should have given it away. Yes. They're incredibly furry. Yes, they are. Lena doesn't have knowledge local. That's my excuse. That's fine. I don't think anyone has knowledge local. Except for the bark. Uh, would knowledge nature work? Yes, it would. Oh, one then, yeah, no excuse. One second, I'll do it. I have no of nature, so let's see if I can pull this off. It's roll one, two, three, plus, like, eight. There. Will it work? Do really? Nine. Oh. That's good enough. Uh, why, why do I roll two? Why do That's I good enough. Um, Skitch, oh, you know okay. that Jinx belongs to the family of demi-humans known as hobbits. Like, okay, so she just kind of, like, maneuvers underneath the lane, and walks over a second, and, she, and goes, ooh, she's a hobbit. <laughs> Look at feet, 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 hairy, hairy, hairy. Hairy feet, hairy feet, hairy feet, hairy feet. Ura, you know the same thing. Okay. Oh. <laughs> she's a hobbit. Hobbits always smell like cheese. Back. So... Do you have our tickets or not? You want your boarding passes back? Yes, please. Yes. Well, then, come with me. No. Or I take them. If you want your boarding passes back, I'm afraid you're going to have to come with me. Otherwise, well, let's just say things might get a bit unpleasant for you during your stay. Oh, no, I can leave at any point. That's not a problem. Actually, no, wait, no. She, wait, she says this out loud, right? Skitch, Skitch actually, Skitch, Skitch motions to pull out a bomb, and he goes, Skitch can run away. Skitch wants stuff back. Skitch, oh, Skitch wait. Back. No, no, Skitch. no, 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 you guys, you guys, I, I, I think I get it. She's, uh, do I really have to roll sense motive? Because this is kind of common sense. No. Difficulty okay, cool. with five, anyway. She's not trying to hide anything. Um, she's implying that, uh, you know, we can say whatever we want, but she can just call the guards over, and she can make up some sort of story. And her being a thief, she's probably pretty good at it. So uh, I think we should go along with her. One yeah, second. Okay. I, yeah, I okay. turn around. I turn around to... Wait, how do you do the, the pain... Oh, just hold down this clip with my button. I turn around to this guy, and uh, I said, "Excuse me." Yes. Would you believe that this young, that this woman is a, th is a thief and has stolen something for, from us? The male citizen looks over at Jinx, looks a bit dismissive at first, looks at her again. And backs right the hell off. 
Uh, Good answer. Have a nice day, sir. All right, fine, then. Where do you want to take us? Well, uh, I'm going to have to talk to me. my guildmaster. He can tell you more about what's going on here anyways. Skitch is going to go for a slight of hand check to see if he can steal from her while she's talking. Oh, God. I'm doing it. Right. You I actually get... put a point in it? I'm a rat. I get bonuses to this stuff. Go for it. One Damn, second. Son. <laughs> uh, make sure I have everything added up properly. It's... In the meantime, she'll oh. go over to, to him and be like, um, it, it, excuse me, what do you know about this woman? That woman's with the guild. It'd be Which very, guild? It would be very unwise to mess with someone like her. Which guild? He seems reluctant to answer. I rolled a 20. Jesus. Yeah, you... She slaps Skitch's hand away. Damn. Meow. Diplomacy? <laughs> Foods? I have that. Um, you're a little short. He still seems very reluctant to answer. Like, this is something that... Locals know quite well, but letting outsiders know is probably not a good idea. Would I, Laura, would walks, I come on. To, I'm, Laura I'm, walks over to this woman and asks her, could you tell me about the guilds in this town? Uh, refer, refer, uh, Given here, how Laura asked that, I'm going to have to ask you to roll your diplomacy. God damn it. What diplomacy? I have diplomacy. I have a plus six. Yeah, hold on six. Uh, six. Uh, Farrah moves over here, dragging Jinx with him. Well, I'm not, uh, you know, I'm... I'm ah, fuck that. I've been here before. I'm a, I'm a worshiper of Iori. I was at the... He says, he I'm at Rafara, the... Rafara interrupts in a slightly quieted voice. Do you mean Thieves Guild? The guys eyes dart towards Jinx, and he says nothing. Taking that as a yes? Taking that as a definitely yes. Sense motive? More than meets the eye. For fuck's sake. Fifteen, really. Why can't I fool anything? He's telling the truth. He hasn't said anything. <laughs> well, there's more to sense motive than just words. It's body language and shit. Yep. Looks like we got caught up in something. Let, let's let's change the tone of my voice to be nothing like Elena. <laughs> <laughs> um, we should probably go along with her. We don't want to... I don't really go down this path, but we should probably cooperate. Why? Because we can't always fight our way through everything. You said anything about fighting. I have no business with these. Did you just refer to innocent citizens as these? Thieves. It's a, like a thief. Oh. The plural. Sorry, I misheard. <laughs> uh, I didn't mean to ping. Anyway, yeah. thank you. And then she kind of backs off. Okay. Come on. Let, let's go. There's Again, a... why? Oh, good. Because we need to get out of it, actually. You can go to a government building and get a pass to leave. Uh, look, if there's some injustice going on, I'd rather try and solve it rather than letting things be. We're in no position to confront a guild. We're, we don't have to confront a guild. They're not our problem. Actually, Jinx speaks up, since you're in the city, just about everything here is your problem. I don't plan to stay here for long, so... I that can't doesn't actually matter. Actually, I understand. In a way, if we... Where should I put this? I'm sure the constable won't be, won't be very happy if we show up asking for more, and there's three passes 
unaccounted for and probably a problem. Three passes. Again, I told you. Government buildings. Or what, however many. I don't fucking know. <laughs> Look, um, I would rather... Maybe if we investigate this problem, we have a trail to get to our other problem. You know what we came here for? Are you completely incapable of walking away from a situation? Uh, out of character. What was our boy assigned to do after we left, anyway? Investigate some noble house. Oh. You know, maybe if we cooperate with them, you know, maybe they have some information. Huh? And how far, how much can you trust the thief? Oh, about as far as our needs cross with yours. About as much as I, as, about as much as I can trust a worshiper of Asmodeus. About as much as I can trust a worshiper of Irori. I take exception to that. Good for you. Look, we don't need Ura. We can just go on without him. Without him. Remember, Ura's the one carrying the sigil. <laughs> well, good luck finding out which noble house that belongs to without our help. If you really do want to try that, I'm sure you'll last, oh, possibly a week. Hmm. Annoyingly, he's right. And then Skitch suddenly teleports. <laughs> kind of I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. sorry. I'm sorry about that. Um, Skitch runs over or, uh, and says, "Can I see it?" Actually, yeah, he shows it to him. Does not hand it to him. Shows it to him. Uh, I'm going to do an appraisal check. Okay. Knowledge local. Does you have knowledge local? No. No, that I would be. Appraise it. What, the cars. Like appraisal. Who knew stuff off? Yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't, appraisal still, wouldn't appraisal still tell me where what house it came from? Like, would I be able to no. appraise it? Oh. No. Yeah. It would tell you its approximate worth, which would give you. Uh, some... What is what is sales intelligence? What now? I don't know. Because basically, just rolling one one d twenty plus it int would be knowledge local. Okay, so it's well, a one. Well, you can't use knowledge as untrained. He's a bard. He has knowledge. Bard. Bard knowledge. Oh, oh, oh. Salon. Yeah. And his character sheet is not in the drop box. Didn't he already do that? And didn't he already fail? I think, yeah, he did on the ship. Fuck. Mm-hmm. So the bard was useless. <laughs> well, appraisal might t- give us something. It might give us a war. It will give you something if you pass it. I'm going to oh. try it. Is- because knowledge appraisal is basically, I just have to roll past a 20. A, 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 a DC 20, I believe. So, I'll do it. I don't think it's a DC 20. Yeah, it's a DC 20 per appraisal. Look oh. it up. Fuck. Uh, we're screwed. Really? You have no faith in me, do you? Just Look at our it. rolls. 24. Oh, hey. Okay. I stand corrected. All right. What has six? You know that this particular medallion is worth about a thousand gold. Uh-huh. It okay. has semi-precious metals on the makeup of it. The design seems to be something similar to a elip- a mind flayer with a crown on it with two crescent moons just above it, and the phrase Dia Diablos Una Claustrum over the top. Okay. The medallion okay, itself so, is shaped like a shield. Okay, so before Skitch says anything to Ura, he actually kind of grabs Ura and pulls him aside real quick, like, away from... Like, he's she's trying to be cautious about the word. He doesn't want to say it out loud. So Skitch kind of, like, pulls him to lean close and goes, this thing's worth at least a thousand gold. Look, 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 look. He uh, he points out the precious metals and the uh, the emblem on it. Look at emblem. Okay. We find we find who if we find whose emblem this belongs. We find whose emblem this is. We find the people. 
this expensive. Perfect. Okay, quick question out of character. Would Ura be able to go to, like, like the Church of Asm Days and, like, research stuff? Yeah. Honestly, okay. I think it's just easier to go with things. Really? I just figured out how much the thing is worth in the thing on it. Really? And the yeah. thing on the thing. I, look, I don't, tr- look, I don't trust someone that just steals from us. I, I'm not going Pretty much. You guys can go. I'm going with Ura. <laughs> oh, great. The party's already good. <laughs> We're fucked. <laughs> you guys split the party. Look, this is Do the one of the few times... Do any of you watch Spoony stuff? This is, this is one of the few times when Ura actually agrees with my character. I'm going with it. <laughs> All right, wait a minute. Actually, then again, the other people, the other people in the group don't know what I've figured out. Only yeah. Ura knows. Cause Ura, yeah. She's only told Ura, so I, I, I mean, I'm not gonna go over there and pull them aside. I mean, Ura was closest. I don't want to draw too much attention. Like we're staying in character. <laughs> Rivera kind of squats down and talks to to talk to Jinx in the talk to Jinx in the face. All right, where should we find you? Jinx points around the corner of the building with her free hand. Just go over to the inn over there, and you'll find where where most of us tend to hang out. Well, at least yeah. now. <laughs> well, if we do come, we'll try to make it fast so you don't move again. Hey, let's go. You sure about this? <laughs> Jinx Wait, who are you talking to? A little bit, and then casually starts walking. Okay. Like <coughs> Rivera, Rivera under his breath says, "Hmm, I expected more of a scamper." It's <laughs> not sketch. <laughs> All right, you two. Let's be on our way, then. What? I'm following her. Go Skitch. for it. Skitch. Skitch looks... Actually, Skitch looks at Ura and, like, looks back at the medallion. Then looks, then looks at the others and goes... And then looks back at Rafira and goes, mm-mm. Skitch, Skitch got research to do. So, yeah. Ura's going to the Church of Asmodeus to do his research. So we are we are splitting up then? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Are you? Actually, hold up. Skitch runs over to Rafera real quickly and like motions for him to like kneel down so he can talk to him. Like he does quiet. so. Skitch Skitch begins to explain what he's appraised about the medallion that Ura got. I don't trust uh, him. All the all primarily the details about the emblem on it and the worth and. And that he's going to go research about it. So he basically what Skitch is saying, he finds he thinks he'll be more useful researching and figuring out who the house belongs to while you guys handle the, you know, nonsense with the thief, basically. Uh, you can't deny it's good information. Yes, he can. I know. He's completely free to deny that's good information. That's not what I'm worried about. I'm worried about the fact that you guys will be off elsewhere researching, and Elena is really insisting on going, and if we get in over our heads, we can't really call on you. Meanwhile. Skitch, <laughs> actually, Skitch, uh, Skitch just shakes his head and goes, just, 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 just let her do the talking. Let her do the talking. If she gets in trouble, punch, punch. Punch, punch, punch. Punch, punch, punch. If we die, I'm killing you. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> if, you, if you die, I'll be dead. Yes, and I will make sure somehow to kill you. I will come back and murder you. Skid, skid slightly, skid slightly past the side of his face. He goes, I look forward to see that. I look forward to it. <laughs> Um, try to be try to be close sometime if you can. 
the first as he kind of stands up, pats Skitch on the head, and says, So long, you coming with us? I'm sure the bard's following. I would assume yes, <laughs> because boobs. Yeah. Uh, Skitch is going going with you guys, because boobies! Skitch is going to scamper off to catch up with, uh, Bruh. Maybe before the thief go this cock block or skitch one. Really? They're gonna mess it? Okay. I would love to see that. No. Are you guys hearing music? No. No. Well, I muted every, all the sound from D, from Roll20, so. Really oh, there it is. There it is. There it's not. There, there, there it is. There it is, yeah. 30 seconds into the campaign, and we've already split the party. We have, uh, <laughs> Don't trust fucking thieves. I am so proud of you guys. You got on the boat. <laughs> We're in character, <laughs> goddammit. You cannot fault us for staying in character. No. Uh, no, he can. He no, can. he can. He really can. <laughs> we got on the boat. We split the party. Oh, man. Next thing you know, you guys are going to be going after a damn dragon. Fuck that noise, no. No, you know you know, you've watched Booney's videos. I'm not going after a dragon with you playing. I will walk the fuck out of here. <laughs> if I so much as even smell as uh, as we're as we're walking away before we catch up to Jinx, uh, I shout across town to Sketch. Oi, Sketch. Hmm. Try to stay close and keep an ear out, will you? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course, of course. Um, actually, I know exactly what Skitch is going to do. Uh, Skitch is going to head to the tavern. <laughs> what? Oh, ask around, does anyone recognize this seal? He's going to walk, he's going to walk into the tavern and talk, and come up to the bar, and like, climb on the bar stool, kind of. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Careful not to Hi. knock it over. Uh, he, he's talking to the most interesting innkeeper in the world. Oh God! Hi. Which Go ahead, scroll up and see. That's actually what I the named. Big it. one. Yeah, it is actually. You can't see Skitch. the name on him, but sure. Skitch. Skitch kind of like waves to him and like he's like, "Hi." Uh, Skitch has a question. Yes. Skitch begins to describe the emblem. Do you know where that? Would you, would you know where that is from? Or who Probably in the upper from? quarter. Uh, any specific? Holy. Hint? Fuck. What? I'm going to disconnect from the campaign for a moment. Because, um... Firefox is currently taking up 1.7 gigs of RAM. Didn't you want to see if it could take up that much? <laughs> well, it did. This is why you need 16 gigs of RAM. Yeah. But yes, we understand. I have three. I'm pretty sure that's more than I have. So, so he tells Skitch that he's in that it'll probably be in the upper quarter, basically. Yeah. I don't have. Doesn't seem to know. It doesn't seem to know anything else besides that, then. No. Okay. Skitch. Skitch nods and says, "Thank you very much." Or is over here. Ooh, ooh, oh, before I leave, before I leave, do you, would you happen to have, would you happen to have any cheese? <laughs> Ask for cheese. I asked for cheese. That'll be two dollars. <laughs> yeah, what, what, what are these dollars you speak of? <laughs> what are the do- these dollars? He hands him a chunk of cheese. That's two silver. Okay, he hands him the two silver then. Thank you. Jump okay. Yeah. Yeah. You see yeah. a couple of rent guards outside of the credit oh, office. Oh, well. Well, this campaign's over now. <laughs> Or it's nice to keep walking by them. Okay. <laughs> so, fuck all. <laughs> they don't care. Well, they don't give a shit. <laughs> They're not paid enough to give a shit. Uh, I'm assuming the guy from Assassin's Creed back there is who's in charge. <laughs> well, why else would he have Head Priest of Asmodeus as his name? I can't see that. I can't see that. What? I can't see most of the tokens. Anything other than the random citizens isn't showing up for me, so. Okay, does that help? Okay, yeah, see it. 
Okay, let me... Let me fix How all much of these. Music? Huh? Music? Uh, music? Under the gear, you can turn the volume all the way down. I don't even know the volume number. I just want to disable it because it's taking way too much RAM. I don't think you can. Yeah, you can. You can? The music? Well, you can at least turn it all the way down. Yeah, he was trying to disable it. Oh, I don't know. Okay, let me see. Where am I going to go? Where am I going to go? Okay. By the way, where is the Temple of Iori on the map? I should zoom in. Uh, directly it's directly direct- opposite. Yeah, it's directly opposite that of the Temple of Asmodeus. Because those two can't be anywhere near each other. Oh, I see it. Yeah. It's the pretty one. <laughs> so wait, are they actually in the, on the same level? As yes. the ones? I didn't know that. I feel like an ass now. You made me. <laughs> no, you made you. You I told me they were all in the slums. I thought the, the the temples would be on the middle level, actually. No. He told me he put them in the slums. Okay. So Ura approaches the priest um, and holds out them down. Do you know what family this belongs to? What house? Hold on. Okay, now I can return my attention there. The priest looks it over and then looks back at Aura and basically says, why do you want to know? I'm looking for the the owner. He looks him over fairly seriously for a bit, then nods slightly. I'll see what I can find out. Wait, okay. Uh, at this point, Skitch is standing outside of the Temple of Asmodeus oh, and screams out, Flaming Man! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I don't see Skitch. Oh, there he is. He literally screams. Well, no one's going to bite. <laughs> well, it's not really a Temple of Asmodeus, isn't it? Just like a government building or something? Yes. It's both, yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah it's Anyone's lawful, free to walk in. Lawful evil government. It makes sense. <laughs> you can walk like, in. The guards give no fucks. It just kind of waddles in past the guards and mm, mm, mm. kind of wanders up behind Aja and. Mm. I'm looking at me. <laughs> I, uh, or, um, or, or I look. Where it looks at the priest, would it be alright if I check through the records? See for myself? The priest shrugs lightly and basically awesome. leaves Ura to do what he wants. Awesome. Hey, what? what? I found, I got some information. Come this way. You spelled Yori wrong, BTWs. Don't care, BTWs. Oh, look. The sure. oh, fuck? Into the library room. I, little records room. What? They, the, the house would be on the on the upper corner. But I would assume any house that can afford it to give, to just hand out thousand gold valued medallions would be on the upper levels. Uh, more information than we had before. Or starts pulling books off the shelves, like records and archives. Start looking. But do I have to roll to see if I find anything? Yeah, what, uh, what, what um, you'd have to roll a 25. Oh, fuck. Well, wait, what am I rolling? Perception? Knowledge? What the fuck am I even... Well, oh. how are you looking? Uh, uh, comparing it, going through the archives, comparing it to family seals. Perception. Oh. Awesome. You'll have to do. It. I have a. Oh, I can't like, even. Get, I can't even get a twenty-five. With that I have a plus three in perception. Great, but least perceptive to people. How? How is this? Like, why would that be a twenty-five? See, no. I can. I'll roll it, but unless I crit, I don't think we're gonna get very far. You've had more luck than me. Uh, you realize a crit is an automatic success, right? 
Yeah, but it's better than what I'd probably normally well, roll anyway. Well if, well, if he's not skimming, like if he's sitting down earnestly looking. Yeah, no, didn't get it. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah. Meanwhile, <laughs> since you guys aren't getting anywhere. Meanwhile, that's a smart right. plan. She looks over. Oh, hey, the the Temple of Yori is around the corner. Uh, I don't think we should make any stops, but... Uh, we came here to talk to the guild, didn't we? Yeah. But... You don't understand. If I walk anywhere near the temple and they see me, it's not going to be pretty. So why would we stop? Fair enough. I mean, not like they have any hostility towards me. It's just some of the uh, some of them can be very affectionate. Yeah, that's the word for it. I feel like that applies to many men. It's not just men. Oh. <laughs> and proceed to all jigs. Well, now I'm just confused. I assume we just follow Jinx inside at this point. Yeah, I'm, I'm still making sure you can see nameplates and whatnot. But I didn't realize you couldn't see it without me hitting player permissions bits. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. A little bit further. And you. And then you three. Hey, Reza. Okay. At the yeah. bottom. Reza, at the bottom, underneath where you're typing in the message, you can ah, change what it says. <laughs> okay, Jinx has actually entered. Yeah, well, we can easily catch up to her. It's not that big of a deal. Oh, I've entered there. Okay. Sorry. I, I thought this big mass of people was the thief skill just meeting out in the open. <laughs> I was I was a bit confused. You call me stupid. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. Okay. Ben, before you continue. Swan, at this point, wanders off because entertainers and waitresses. Oh, God. So, he'll be out of play unless Tom actually gets off his ass. So, so what happens when we walk in? Is Jinx just sitting down with this? No, she's continuing to walk right past the airship officer and airship crew, the hostess and entertainer. The walk like we know what we're doing approach. I like it. Yep. You know that doesn't really work if you don't say it out loud. If you say it out loud like that, prepare. <laughs> I said it very quietly. <laughs> Inside the next area past the hostess is much more boisterous with lots of loud music and it, it's very very good sounds. There, that'll work. Okay. Real quick, what does entertainer mean? <laughs> mm. 
It means uh, entertainer. I don't think this is the normal inn that people go to. Oh, yeah, it's about to get nasty. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for that, Rezo. Okay, Thank so Jinx weaves her way past all the rowdy patrons. Oh, God. And before only I was spotted, I should start yes, putting... Joy. I don't think they go to this inn. I hope not. <laughs> no, they they generally don't. <laughs> Are these things tables? Uh, beds, but you, that one's meant to be shifted out of the way. Like, just pretend there's like a hidden wall door thing here. Yeah. Because it's... Re- yeah. So, Jinx goes past the false wall. And, of oh. course, waits for you guys to catch up. Her is enjoying the waitress. <laughs> and then teleports. <laughs> <laughs> well, it makes everything funny. So, Jinx then goes into this area with the... Air pirates and the pinch pockets, the robes, the scallywags, and the scruffy looking nerf herder. Oh, and just for reference, no, his name is not Han. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> I'm, in need, I'm in need of a captain. <laughs> Jinx looks back at Rafer and Elena. Well, come on in. Okay. The Wookiee went. <laughs> Don't worry. As long as you're here with me, they won't hurt you. Wait, is Rafer the Wookiee? <laughs> <laughs> yes. He's the shaved Wookiee. Can Rafer rip off people's arms when he loses? Yes. <laughs> yeah. He's the Wookiee. <laughs> Oh, hi. I start being on top. <laughs> Jinx knocks on the door, and after a few moments, the door opens by itself. She enters and then steps to one side. I'm sorry. Ding. Jinx whispers to Elena as she walks in, be sure not to anger or annoy him. Our guildmaster is one of the most powerful men in the city. And he's not too particular about um, sweeping up after himself. Hmm. Fun. Gotcha. Uh, sketch. I'll wait until Ben's done before I do this. Yeah. So, a man in a crimson robe with a mask over his face and goggles over his eyes is standing near a reflecting pool, flanked by a pair of rather quiet bodyguards who look like they can handle just about anything that comes through that door. The man has... So, so, I'm on. Huh? I'm on. From Legend of Korra. I don't know. I don't get the reference either. It's I know what Legend of Korra is, but I don't know. But wait. I think I get it, but no. Never mind. Alright. Anywho... The man looks at Rafera and Elena for a silent moment, and he has quite the aura on him. He actually almost exudes magic. Hmm. After a moment of silence, he looks over. He, he looks them over again. So, this is who Jinx got to help. 
Sorry, did you say help? Uh, what what time of day is it, by the way? Um, not... Isn't, the, isn't it morning still? Yeah, it's still morning. Good morning! <laughs> that was... There. Wow. Tom nods politely to Elena. I'm so sorry, Rafaela. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm dead, aren't I? <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, what exactly do you mean by uh, help? Well, there's just a few problems with the city. And problems for the city mean problems for the guild. Not enough cheese. <laughs> Damn it, we didn't interrupt with you. <laughs> Sorry, I'll be quiet. I won't. Anyway. For instance, the guards are sniffing around far too much, looking for a pair of missing steam suits. We didn't steal them. We've told them this multiple times. But... What's for you say? Oh, um, I said that would be very impressive if you had. Uh, Rivera, maybe it would be better if I just did the talking. <laughs> he looks at Elena expectantly. So you want us to go find the steam suits? And the culprits? There's other things that have been going on as well. We have spies up in the up in the rich quarters. They report that some of our maids have gone missing from the local noble houses. One of them in particular is the house of Bent Oak. (laughs) Shut up. You are 12. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> see, see, at least our jokes are clever. <laughs> We're going to have to pun issue later. I hate you. <laughs> anyway. Wait, wouldn't There's, Tom know about Elena anyway because she served at the temple for some yes. time? That doesn't no. mean he'll let him, that doesn't mean he'll let on that he does. Oh, fair enough. There's mm-hmm. also been some fires in the alchemy quarter. Well, not more my than fault. Usual. Didn't do it. And there's been some there's been some reports coming across my desk of Strange lights just before each of the fires in an abandoned house. Given that the nobles will simply charge you for the for the privilege of serving them, I figured I could get you to help without charging you. Especially since, well, given that people have been disappearing, it's unlikely that you'll last without our help. Uh, Rivera kind of looks at Elena as, as if to say, you mind if I say something? Elena looks over to Rivera as if to say, uh... Use your words. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't like that. We're not exactly helpless, you know. And if anything, you won't. If anything, you're more blackmailing us by making it harder for us to get out. We had somewhere to be. That's nice. Many people have places to be. Yeah, um... A 
lot of that's a lot of stuff for a couple people like us to handle. I mean, there's more of us, but I mean, we're not all here. Uh, why haven't you petitioned the uh, any any of the? Okay. Have you tried petitioning any place else? Maybe the. I kind of doubt the Temple of Yori might have helped, but have you tried them? <laughs> the Temple of Yori isn't interested in helping thieves like us, even though we tend to be the best guards in the city. Hell, we're half the guards in the city. Sorry, didn't you say the guards were doing nothing about it? Officially, the guards aren't doing anything about it because they're being paid off by someone higher up not to. Our guards, however, have been at least looking into the matter. This is all that we've come up with so far. Ah. She looks over at Rivera. Well... If it, she looks over at Rafael and kind of says quietly, like, "Well, if it make the city safer, I mean, maybe we should, you know, help them out. I mean, they're just the one giving us the job, but the stuff they're sounding like telling us about sounds like it affects everybody, not just them." Uh, he says this, responding to her, but still looking at the, uh, still looking at Tom. I feel like this is this is uh, far more than we should be expected to handle, and you're putting us and he's putting us a bit over our heads. Well, as it is, if you're saying that the uh, if you're saying we're not safe without your protection, why are you expecting us to go and do your work? Because they'll probably kill us right now if we don't do anything. Tom remains quiet. It, it couldn't hurt to try. Just be, yeah. just because people, some certain people are not as um, bound to the laws of keeping your hands to yourself with your own possessions, doesn't necessarily mean that they're bad. I have no, I don't feel that they are. However, the first thought that comes into mind is I really have, that will be able to convince our. Friends. If you help, Denny, I'll make sure that no none of my people trouble yours while you're doing these investigations for us. I'll ensure that you have safe places to sleep and a nice reward when you get the jobs done. The only reason I'm even considering hiring you folk is because my people haven't been able to get the job done because... Every time they get close to a place that might be of interest, the place is gone. Hmm. See, it, it might be it might be fun. It <laughs> <laughs> it might be okay. Maybe fun is not the right word, but a, a step on the the path to self enlightenment. I say we at least try. Besides, she kind of leans over and whispers in Rafael's ear. Besides, they mentioned Alchemist Quarter. Sketch would be all over that like a mouse over cheese. He is a mouse. <laughs> and he's always over cheese. Rafael responds. He had that cheese. Rafael responds <laughs> in not particularly a whisper. That was a terrible metaphor. <laughs> that was a terrible metaphor. Analogy. Whatever. 
the time. Mm-hmm. You know. Well, it sounds well. Sounds like it's certainly not a bad option. Come and find Dora. <laughs> Do we have any details now, or would you rather we assemble our party so you only have to explain it once? I can pass you the information if you wish to pass it to them. It makes no matter to me. Yes, please. Tom then passes Elena and Rivera two copies of pretty much everything he's told them written down, along with basic locations of where they've been searching, which is further down into the slums near the industrial quarter. And then he looks at Jinx. Jinx, you'll be their contact while they're here. Make sure that they don't get into any trouble. Yes, sir. We'll try our hardest. Tom simply turns around and goes back to contemplating the reflecting pool. Is this our cue to leave? You have been dismissed. I I think we should leave for Farrah. Uh, okay. I, I I turn around to walk out. Salon can say he's enjoying the entertainer. We'll keep in touch. Yes, thank you, sir. <laughs> and because walking sequences are boring. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> what actual walking? As they walk out, Elena just says, like, the most downcast look on her face. Ah, why do we get into these things? Because you can't walk away. Well, it could be worse. And then we can walk Either away. way, we would have been dead. Could be worse. Could be raining. Oh. Nah, that's not while everyone dies. <laughs> I like to think you actually rolled the dice to see if it started raining. <laughs> should we? Should we? Wait, we don't. We don't know where to find them. The temple, right? If that's where Aurora said she'd be. She'd be. Sorry. I keep using the wrong pronoun. Aurora <laughs> said she'd be. Mm-hmm. Suddenly, Aurora's replaced by Elena. Um, yeah, but I, I don't know where that is. We saw which way they went. We'll just walk that way. Uh. But I wanted to see the temple. And go to the damn temple. Christ, you're whiny. <laughs> would, would you like some cheese with that? It. That was a really bad joke. I'm aware. Um, these were it was stuff with Rafera and I'm stuff that I had something I wanted to do. Okay. Oh, you can switch over. You can switch over. Yeah, we're going to switch back to Sketch and Laura. Okay. Okay. Head of in human resources. Because uh, Sketch has something he wants to do. In, in chat. Yeah, you've got the manager, the assistant manager, the deputy assistant clerk, the assistant clerk, the head of in human resources, chief bell officer. Um. Okay, so Sketch wobbles over to the head priest of Asmodeus. Okay. And, like, Tugs oh on the guy's pants, uh, pants like to uh, get attention. Guy looks down at him. Hi, my name is Skitch. Skitch is slave. Skitch is trying to find his way back home to his master. Skitch got separated. 
Would you be able to help Sketch? No. <laughs> well, that was pointless. I thought... Uh, I, I Ask someone else. Uh, uh, Stand, stands up on a chair and shouts, 50 gold, who can ever find the owner of this medallion by nightfall? Do I have anyone's attention? <laughs> <laughs> I think you're going to have to work with more than 50 gold here. I don't have one. I have like 71. Skitch, uh, how much money you got? Um, Skitch, waddles, Skitch waddles over. Offer, offer him 200. 200 gold, then. <laughs> really, <laughs> motherfuckers? <laughs> Wow. 200 that... gold and I don't burn this place to the ground. No, that's... <laughs> okay, hold up. Skid pulled out a bomb. <laughs> Your assistant manager Are comes you... over to see what's up. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> as, the manager, answer to the as does the chief fell officer. As does the... <laughs> Wow, we got we got their attention. That's a, that's a good People. sign. Well, oh. now that I have your attention, insane. There is going to fucking roll with this. It's my God. So and I, we shouldn't interrupt them if we. <laughs> <laughs> this is right. going. Roll with it. I'm looking for the owner of this medallion, the noble family this came from. He sort of flashes the medallion around at them. Consider it a holy mission if you must. Any takers? Fine. We'll look for it. <laughs> so Thank the you. chief fell officer starts looking through books. <laughs> it's a stent cleric. It it works. Work. <laughs> this is the thing I did, and it worked. Assistant <laughs> cleric starts looking through books. The, the head way. of inhuman resources goes over and starts looking through books. <laughs> the head priest just goes back to what the hell he was doing while the manager and assistant manager stay near Skitch. Like this. He's the only one who pulled out the fucking In ball. flanking position. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. You actually They're... pulled out a bomb and they know who the fuck Ura is. You have a horn. They know who the fuck Ura is. I'm a rat. You have bombs. You pulled out a bomb in a government building. You're lucky you're not getting a, a Dr. Feelgood session right now. <laughs> Because these guys have TSA agents. And they don't have any rubber gloves. Uh-oh. Rubber does not exist in this universe yet. Um, Skitch, Skitch gives them both very, um, small <laughs> smiles. I was about the bomb. And puts the bomb back in his bag. <laughs> Slowly... <laughs> <laughs> so that they don't try to purposely molest the rats. <laughs> <laughs> I, I now have the majority of the church looking for us. Was that was it was it your threat to burn the place down, or was it the bomb that convinced them? <laughs> Pretty sure it was the bomb. <laughs> so, uh, Rivera, how's your idea working out? <laughs> <laughs> Someone else talk. <laughs> oh, we're gonna do things our way. This will be brilliant. <laughs> you hurry us over here. There's a cleric for the monks, and there's no scary people. <laughs> Again, like I said, they know who the fucker is. <laughs> yeah. No, no, we were. Uh, Elena oh, was he, talking about. Tom and the bodyguards. Uh, oh, I was talking like directly to you guys. Like, no, yeah, so someone say something. <laughs> oh, did you want to switch back over or what? <laughs> well, we're trying to figure out 
how long is it going to take them to find something? Probably a while. Okay, switch back. Or sit down in the Skitch has made himself a couple of friends. They're going to follow him <laughs> everywhere until he leaves what? the temple. What's wrong with King Cherry? Does that mean you don't like me? Oh, no. I'm just wondering why. If you're so... If you were so tentative about it before, why are you so thrilled with going back? Well, uh, I was afraid that if we went earlier, we would they would want us to stay, and it would take too much time, and now we have all the time in the world. Kind of. Not really. But kind of not really <laughs> is right. We can at least stay for a little while. Come on, it'll be fun. Come Fine, I haven't been to this temple before anyway. And jump! (laughs) Well, then I was kind of afraid of running into one of the wives. I don't understand why they don't like me, but... Everyone else does. Sorry, what? (laughs) Ah. Said, said in character. Sorry, what? Well, some of the monks' wives don't particularly care for me. But I don't know why I'm so cheerful. And loving. And mm. I don't get it. <laughs> the loving part is probably a lot of the object, too. Let's say a lot of wives prefer them to be the ones loving in for their men. No, 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 no. No, not like relationship loving, just, you know, caring. And... I I am aware. My point still stands. Well, s- some women are jealous bitches. <laughs> yes. Wow. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they are. Now let's go. Okay. <laughs> Almost out of character. <laughs> Not at all. I have a feeling she used it and not really fully understood what she implied. <laughs> oh, God. I, I think that's completely in character. I'm home. Lucy, I'm you know, if she, you know what, if she, if she if she becomes any sweeter, I'm gonna end up with diabetes. Someone please <laughs> kill this chick. <laughs> diabetes. It's like the diabetes. third episode. How is she not? How is she not kidnapped yet? I haven't had the opportunity. I'm <laughs> <laughs> doing time. Crying out I'm loud. Not even, I'm, I'm not even debating that she is chance. gonna. Get. The party split. Do it now. I can't. Oh yeah, is uh, is Salam anywhere nearby? The cleric of Iori at the door bows in in respect to Elena. Welcome home. Thank you. This is uh, my friend Rafara. He's a monk. Oh, another adherent to Iori. Welcome home as well, sir. Pleasure. Is my mother visiting? Um, no. However, we do have a paladin on hand if you wish to speak to her. Oh, okay. Thank you. Rafaela finds none of this funny or strange. He's just rolling with it. (laughs) Nobody's gonna bite. Here, Rafira. Here, boy. Here, boy. Oh, God. <laughs> I got nothing to say. Oh, God. Really? <laughs> I just Almost noticed. 
just noticed what? From the harmless janitor? Yeah. Yeah, in fact, yeah, you guys do see Grum the Harmless Janitor. He's a big, hulking, gray mass, full of muscle and sinew, and looking very frightening and sweeping. Careful. Well, we know he's going to be doing the kidnapping. <laughs> Is Grum familiar to Elena at all? He's been, she's seen him before, yeah. He really is okay. harmless. <laughs> okay. Well, this was anticlimactic. <laughs> <laughs> One second. Uh, try not to... I know we're in a safe place, but try not to get hurt anyway. I'm sure you'll find a way. What? You, are, are you, you're saying like that, like we're in a kitchen or something. Oh, you could still talk to Paladin if you wanted to. I was going to go talk to the monk. The monk cleric. The monk cleric. Yeah, cool class. No champion of Yuri? That's actually a prestige class. Um, the Paladin is on the way to that prestige class, but hasn't made it yet. She's working on it. So, okay. Excuse me, sir. Yes? How may I help you? No, well, I suppose I'll introduce myself. I'm Rafara Anders. Very. I, uh, I'm new to town. Ah, that's unfortunate. Um, huh? What do you mean, unfortunate? Ah, Elena, welcome back. It is unfortunate that you are visiting now. There have been many disappearances and strange happenings in the town. Hmm. You think that perhaps the thieves killed is behind it. Uh... <laughs> if you could find a way to investigate, it would help our cause very much. Happy to help. Oh, sure. That that would be absolutely wonderful. Me and Refer would make a good team. We have other friends, too. Wonderful. Thank you ever so much for your assistance. Do not mention me. I'll be sure to tell your father that you stopped by. Oh, uh, thank you. Oh, and that reminds me, another sack of mail has arrived for you. <laughs> Yay! Really? Oh, thank you ever so much. <laughs> <laughs> I can just imagine the horrible force to grin right now. <laughs> I have one question. Uh, We're in the of this. Was it Ura's threat to burn the place down, or was it Skitch pulling out the bomb that got them to cooperate? The latter. Really? Skitch pulling out the bomb got them, got their attention. Ura then asking, um, relatively nicely, is what the, got them to do it. Relatively. Relatively. Ha. Huh. Elena, could you excuse us from a window? I'd like to talk about monk things. Oh. Go find Ura. <laughs> um, uh, I guess I can go through the letters. Uh, where's the sack? She says without any sort of irony <laughs> whatsoever. <laughs> sure, there's one of those. Refer it. Refer it. Stifles chuckle. The paladin brought it with her when she arrived. Okay. Oh, thank you. Hang on. Hang on. What? Can you? Can we link things in the Roll20 chat, or should I do it in the Skype uh, chat? Either or. Okay. 
Uh, one moment. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, yeah, it kind of wanders over. Okay. Hello, miss. Oh, miss. hello, Elena. You know who I am? Most everyone in the Paladin Order knows who you are. Oh, right. <laughs> in fact, we're required to know you by sight. That's creepy. <laughs> That seems necessary. It's A orders. Little. It's orders from the head of our order. Uh, apparently, he got them from our god. Oh, haha! <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, okay. <laughs> this is this is my response to the uh, Paladin has the sack. Oh, you can't click on it. Right click, yes, yeah. You... Right click. Flip it in your pad. <laughs> <laughs> it's in billion, everyone. Sure, daily dose of. Uh, so I, I say in kind of a hushed voice to the monk cleric, I feel like there's something I should know about Elena and don't. Are you at liberty to tell me something? What would you want to know? Well, I've heard mention of her mother and father, but she's told me nothing about that. I'd say that would be her own business. (laughs) That's fair. Well, I figured I'd ask. would be very impolite and not to mention dangerous for me to say so otherwise I'm sure I'll find some way to bring it up but anyway as for actual monk stuff uh Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Ignore me. I, I forgot. I I had I was trying to imagine a motorboat and forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, okay. Elena looks at the Pelin. Well, uh, what's your name? Oh, I'm Catherine. Well, uh, Catherine, uh. The the head priest uh, said you had uh, a batch of letters for me? Oh, yes, right here. She hands, um, she hands Elena a small rock sack. Wait, is, is it more or less? It's about the- half of what you got last time. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, thank God. Is it bigger than a bread box? Yes. No, in fact, it may have a bread box in it somewhere. I Not want to put a loaf in your <laughs> oven. <laughs> that would be horrible. Again, at least mine are good. Mine are horrible. <laughs> she takes the sack. Is it heavy? Mm, moderately. Her tongue. No, I'm kidding. She kind of struggles all up. Oh, I, I got it. It's okay. Uh, thank you so very much, Catherine. If you're sure. I think I'm going to go take it back to Rafera, or maybe sort it through some of it. Okay. As well, as have a wonderful back. day. You too. As he's walking back, I guess. 
Oh. It actually bumps into Elena as she's turning around. <laughs> let, me, uh, let me take that off your hands and slings it over his shoulder. Thank you, Rafera. Anytime. We should go find Ura now. <laughs> so enthusiastic about getting back with the party. <laughs> Are we uh, throwing this as we're as we're walking out? Are we uh, throwing this bag in the fire somewhere, or do you actually want to look through it? I'll I'll try looking through it actually. Ura usually just burns half of it anyway. <laughs> it, it'll keep a, a steady stream of fire throughout the night. <laughs> <laughs> Will you. We do have a place to stay, remember? Uh, well, I, I, well, I'm already hesitant enough to meet up with Aura. Let's just meet up with Aura and get it over with. He's not going to be happy about this. No, I imagine not. Why did I? Why did I pick a voice that's so much higher than my own? It it makes my throat hurt after a while. <laughs> and where the fuck am I going? Complete opposite side of the map. Fucking don't feel like zooming out because zooming out is a bitch in this game. Oops. Well, you're supposed to be able to use Alt in the scroll wheel, but Firefox doesn't like Alt for anything other than popping up the little menu bar. Yeah, it really doesn't. Uh, and oh shit! All right. Firstly, where the fuck am I? You're like in the middle of town. Here you are, in front of the inn. Yeah. Proper inn. Yeah, Elena was gonna ask about the symbol from the temple, but she had she forgot what it looked like and <laughs> she was just happy that there were no horny monks around. <laughs> there was one monk, but he wasn't horny. Yes. Hmm. I think this is the place. Oh. <laughs> Do we have to... The building before you has a pair of rent guards in front of it. And looks vaguely like the Department of Motor Vehicles. It's evil. So wait, why is there anyone in there? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, yeah, Ura actually got service. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I said vague. God, this is so... God, this is so unrealistic. <laughs> <laughs> a government building where shit actually happens. Well, is a government agent. He doesn't count. Fair enough. <laughs> Okay. okay. Well, we can always we can always just wait out here. Well, Ur is waiting for his research to get done. You're going to be waiting a long time. No, no, we should we can go in. It's not like we're going to turn to dust or anything. This is a government building, after all. Dum de dum de dum, government building. <laughs> Doing some government business today. La di da di da. He's <laughs> trying so hard. Welcome past the red to come. She doesn't they say do that know. part out loud. They're not paid enough to give a fuck. You walk in, Earth's reclining in a chair. Wax, it's all hell. Walks over. Oh, we've got some good news and some bad news. I've got good news, too. I'm researching. Um, it looks like you're actually reclining. Or kind of points around at the people hanging around the bookshelves. No, see, I'm researching. I have people to do this for me. This really is a government building. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you think it was? <laughs> Uh, 
uh, okay. Rivera, maybe you should be the one to tell them. The good news is we have a place to stay in town while we figure out where we're going and uh, are going to get paid. A place to stay? We got a room at the inn already? Not, not that inn. Which inn? The Deadfield Inn. I'm not staying with the... Well... I'm actually not sure where it is, but it is offered by them. I do not accept hospitality from thieves. I do not trust thieves. Look, there's a lot going on in the city that's not really good. Your return to the assistant manager. Why do I not trust thieves? <laughs> Why is oh, it... Don't, oh, don't worry. That's not even the start of the bad news. Yeah, that's not the start of the bad news. Uh-huh. In addition, let's see, uh, in order to get our passes back, we need to do a job for the Thieves Guild. Uh-huh. Uh, which involves finding, what was it, mech suits? Steam yeah. suits. Ura gets up. Finding steam suits on the people who stole them. Uh-huh. Ura gets up, walks all the way over here says, excuse me, but how, how would I go about getting a pass to leave the city? <laughs> where, where did he go? Down to the head of inhumane resources. The head of inhuman, of inhuman resources, okay. Yeah. The head of inhuman resources turns around and blinks at Aura. What do you mean, get a pass out of the city? You should have gotten that before you came in. It was stolen, a pickpocket. I was told well, that I would be able to get one to the church. The application process takes three months. Uh-huh. I'm sorry, but that's how it works. There's no way around this. You could always try petitioning your lord. I hear he's even put in a handy helpline. Oh, God. I'll get back to you on whether or not, on just how far in I am on. I'm on this. Maybe sometime tomorrow. And, uh, as soon as we get the job done, we get our passes back and we get paid and et cetera, et cetera. Hmm. And if we don't, well... That these guilds will make our lives nice and hellish. Oh, wait. Sorry. Bad choice of words. Why did I let you do the talking? <gasps> I'm going to ignore that. <laughs> <laughs> focus uh, on the important part of that. You're missing a Rezo. Rezo? What the hell? I did the Rezo flee. Like two minutes ago? Yeah, why? Is he still in the... In the... No, he's not. No, he's not. Oh, he hung he up. He out. What? What a whore. He could have at least yeah. told us. No. Even an IM would have been nice. Well, reduced XP for him. We. Oh, Maybe you should... Oh, he's not even in the campaign anymore, like... That's what I noticed. I just noticed he was quiet, and I thought, oh, quiet, Rezo. And but he's, not and he's just not there. Yeah. Well, we could try ringing him back real quick, see if he picks up. Oh, no, he's he's IMing me right now. I'm trying to see this excuse. Might have just been one of his antisocial bouts. Oh, yeah, he has sauce cast this afternoon. Oh. Yeah. Still reduced okay. XP, because he didn't let yeah. us know. <clears throat> okay. I'm 
only anyway. way to accommodate people is I don't know, I can't accommodate them. Anyway, where were we? Repair was letting uh, Ura know the bad news. Oh, yeah. And then bad word choices. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you go and find out where these accommodations are. And then we'll discuss further. Ura kind of looks over at Elena. Huh, I figured you'd burst into flames or something. <laughs> It is a government building. Yes, but that's one function. Then that's all I need to be concerned with. <laughs> Back down. Rose a dick. Oh, Rose a dick. Hi, hi, de, hi, de, oh, oh, Rose a dick. Look, we'll find out what our accommodations are when we get there. It doesn't have to be that big of a deal. I'm not walking all the way across town again and then back. You should have had a little bell to call Jake's. Again, a thief in the government type thing. Oh, yeah, Jinx is our liaison. Oh, joy. Well, look, I'm busy here. And Sketch is currently being detained. Through no fault of my own. <laughs> Somehow I completely believe that. <laughs> There's two pulls out a bomb in a government building. Uh, see previous gift. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Nathan Fillion. <laughs> You're free to sit around here. Somehow I don't jinx will uh be showing up in a government building. Fair enough. Like I said, I'm waiting on these four to find something. So my hands are well, a bit Well, we're gonna have to do the work for them at some point. Hopefully you'll oblige. Oh, by the way, uh, for a, a, yeah. our options a are. couple of letters slip out of the rucksack and float towards your feet. Do I roll perception? Or since you specifically pointed them out, do I just see them? You just see them. Or leans over and picks them up. Like, the hell? That's who oh. they're addressed to! Uh. Oh, this again. Joy. Oh, uh, I was, while we were waiting for you, I was thinking of just going through the letters. There's some desks in that opposite office over there if you wanted. I was just going to go to the end and sort out those letters. Just open fire here. I was just going to the end and sort out those letters. <laughs> 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 opens one. Hey, that's my mail. Give it back. <laughs> Rafara is so conflicted right now. <laughs> she doesn't know whether to be a gentleman or watch and enjoy the humor. <laughs> well, this is the happiest there has been. Or remotely humored, at least. <laughs> Let's see. Good or bad? Good or bad? Or bad. Or stands up and holds the letter out of her reach and starts to read it to himself. Oh! Yeah. A really, really raunchy letter. Huh. So how many did you get this time? <laughs> this, in fact, yeah. this letter is really explicit. 
Huh. It's my mail. And it's from a <laughs> Huh. Fire hands burn. Nope. <laughs> We're doing this again. <laughs> Or opens the second letter. Okay. This is also a dirty letter from a woman. Oh. Huh. <laughs> It's also rather descriptive, but not nearly as much as the other one. Are you sure you want this letter? Kind of holds it, like, just out of her reach. She's for people. She looks at it. What does whipped cream have to do with anything? <laughs> Are you... Are you really sure you want this letter? Uh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're never gonna. Well, if you don't want it, you're never gonna find out what the whipped cream was for. I, I, I've. Last offer. I'm in a surprisingly good mood right now. I have a feeling I should just let you burn it. (laughs) See, you're learning. (laughs) Burns the letter. (laughs) Now, I want the last letter. Rora kind of smirks. This holds up this letter? Yes. Hmm. But I'm really curious as to what's in this one. Well, if we're going by odds, if the other two are in any indication, I should just burn this now without opening it. What? She kind of looks at the envelope. Is it in Celestial or anything like that? No. Okay, cool. (laughs) But it's my mail! God, that's a whiny voice. I know. (laughs) (laughs) I don't even know if you said that in character or not. Yes, in character. What? (laughs) Wow. What what I miss. Oh, Uh, it was for two letters. (laughs) Um, You you don't mind us seeing these roles, right? No, I don't mind you seeing them. Okay. Okay. Just making sure. Wow. Is this going to be one of those really stalky letters? <laughs> at this point, because I was going to do this earlier, <laughs> at this point, Rafara intercedes, grabs um, the letter, um, grabs the letters out of Burra's hands. Just one left. There's only one left. <laughs> He's uh, burned up two. Grabs the one out of her hand and folds it, hands it back to Elena. Wow, this letter is, um, Wow. Should have just let him burn it. It's <laughs> pornographic and from a woman. And it includes pictures. Perception check to see the pictures as I'm folding it. Well, he hasn't opened this one yet. So I'm assuming she... I don't know. What the fuck ever. Should I anyway? Go right okay. ahead. You didn't see him. <laughs> I had it back. Elena, <laughs> the letter's in your hand. Comedy. No. <laughs> Comedy. <laughs> well, Elena opens it. She doesn't know any better. <laughs> <laughs> what does it mean? Perception check again. Just to look around. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Jeez. You can perception check if you want. In fact, Ura, you do it too. Yeah, you see it. (laughs) (laughs) I love how Ben's just dying on the other side. (laughs) And 
Rizzo's missing all of this. The South cast. Recording is Farah, you see it. And you the lady in Farrah question that's, that sent the pictures in the really, really dirty letter is kind of hot. Farah kind of looks over I, at Farah. I just, I just wait to see Elena's response. <laughs> Aren't you glad I didn't burn it? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Elena, what is your reaction? Tears. Grams. She folds the letter up again. <laughs> Hands it back to Aura. No, she doesn't. <laughs> she just looks at Rafaela. Let's go to the end now and look through the letters. <laughs> Turns have on with, Aja. Have fun with your research. <laughs> no, you leave your dog behind. No. He doesn't need to see stuff. He can stay with you. As it is, you didn't bring your dog. You didn't have your dog just when we went to the guild house. I didn't think. Don't yeah. trust guild. Anyway. I have Rafara. He's even he's even better than Aja. Good. I've been promoted. I'm better than a dog. Aja takes offense to this. <laughs> I will put that two intelligence to use, damn it. I feel good about myself now. <laughs> Slightly better than a dog. I feel good about myself. I'm better than a dog. Marginally. Marginally. So, yeah. Do... Can we assume while they're going through their letters, the researchers find something? Yeah, they find something, but, uh... It's not set up for that yet. Okay. I actually need to write it out, so it might be, like, a week or two. Okay. Depending on how busy I am. Okay. Uh, in the meantime, when we go into the inn, which... Go, go, gadget, teleport. <laughs> go, go, gadget, teleport. To the walls. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> uh, is Jinx anywhere nearby? No. I, I think she was assuming you'd come back to the guild. No, it's just that she'll be there when you need her to be there. At the moment, she's pretty much assuming you guys need a bit of a rest anyways. Hmm. Alright, but... Anyway. Um... So... Am I looking at them? Am I filtering them? What do you want? (laughs) Am Am I completely not looking at all? You can just sit the set next to me. You can just drink. It's fine. I'll look through them. Sure. Want anything from the bar? Uh. Uh. uh, Not right now. Alright. So we're just like <laughs> how much how many silver should I subtract? Um for a beer, one. It's cheap. And we come back. And I suppose that scene. Unless <laughs> you guys want to see more letters. 
Uh, Ira had the fun last time. It's Rafaira's turn, I think. (laughs) (laughs) Well, Elena would just sort through the letters, so I guess that would just be a generic. Yeah. 1D100 for how many are pornographic? Yeah. That's what was a 99? (laughs) (laughs) So, I have to ask, could you explain to me exactly why you have fan mail? (laughs) (laughs) Wow. Uh, Yes. (laughs) <laughs> well, if there are 500 letters, just roll 1D500. No, this is 200. It's a rucksack rather than a big duffel bag. Awesome. <laughs> so they're all... <laughs> Not all have... Now, now roll 1D157 for how many have pictures. 57. Out of... Yep. <laughs> Now, how many of them are graphic pictures? Well-made pictures. No, 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 no. All. Ninety of them contain gifts. Gift. How many? How many of those thirty-seven are also a part of that ninety? How, one, one how of many them? of those? How many of those ninety are anthrax? None. <laughs> how many of those are? Eight? How many out of that 21 should she not be pulling out in public? <laughs> All of them. <laughs> well, it's male. Right. It's... <laughs> <laughs> this is too I much have fun. really pretty gifts. You, I think you plan out the gifts more than anything. So, among the gifts are 53 feet of silk rope. Specifically, three. Um, Besides the implications, that's actually... (laughs) That's expensive shit. Two pair of fuzzy manacles. I did. I guess there's three pair now, I think. <laughs> Wait, two pairs? Two yeah. pairs of fuzzy manacles. That's not foreboding at all. <laughs> <laughs> a whip. At some point, at some point we're going to, like, at some point we're going to capture something. It's like, oh, wait, that's Ira. Uh, we know you have rope and man. manacles. A whip. Actually, that whip. Do we have anyone with exotic weapons proficiency? I think the bard can use a whip. Yeah, I think the bard it would can use a whip. Although, the whip is colored pink. Okay. I want the bard to use his whip. <laughs> Alright. Is it, is it also pink fuzzy manacles? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. Is there any other sort of fuzzy manacles? No. <laughs> Okay, so 53 feet of silk rope. The, the next object seems to be a leather outfit. There's something about it that seems to be a bit gimpy. And a little bit small. And a lot of it not there. Yeah. Wow. Uh. And the last last gift comes with a picture that, well, actually several pictures that seem to be um, instructions on how to use the gift. And it's it's uh, several inches long and slender and tube-like. Oh, God, why? Does it vibrate? it? Uh, yeah, th- those are the creepy gifts. The other gifts are things like teddy bears and 
and small foods that keep well. Oh, man, I wake up the next morning when those teddy bears is missing. And there, there's a couple of nice outfits that are not sexual. Yay. So, never mind. I'm not even going to ask why you're going to do it with the creepy ones. <laughs> Give them to Ura. Or get a whip and some rope. <laughs> Remember, Ura is a sadist. Well, the rope we can keep. Anyway. Okay. There is one letter amongst the bunch that is written in Celestial. Yay. Ta da. <laughs> the rest vary in the nice letters to slightly creepy letters to. Um, fancy letters, letters to really creepy sexual letters to, well, the gifts. Are any of them, like, threatening or anything no. like that? Anyway. No, it seems that even Elena uh, characters can't really threaten a physical harm. So, character development talk. Okay. Uh, Rafara says to Elena, so I have to ask, why is it exactly that you're getting fan mail? Um, I don't know. From, just, uh, from those of Yuri. I think I just leave a, an impression on people. She leaves two impressions. Boo! Do, do I have to sense motive? She's not lying. This is Elena. You never have to sense motive. Exactly. I mean, I'm not going to push you to tell me something. But... I feel like there's something very important I don't know that I should. Rafara finds out oh. Elena's dark secret. She's a lesbian. Look, look, I did not... Rafara is completely okay with that. <laughs> I did not ask for the pink whip, okay? That was... <laughs> just tiptoeing around this question. I don't know what you're talking about. Whip? Oh, by the way, the whip handle looks um, rather suggestive. Rather phallic? Yeah, and is also colored pink. Oh, joy. Of course it is. Actually, it's not hot pink like you'd expect. It's more... Flesh tone. <laughs> what the fuck happened? <laughs> no, take the dog with you. <laughs> but he likes you so much. Go. Shoe boy. Okay. Rafara, your shoes are being gnawed on. I wear shoes? You do now. Feet are being gnawed on. <laughs> you, you want dogs rolling all over your feet? Uh, fuck, I don't even have animal, animal trained. You, uh, charisma check. That's how Ura commands them, so... You said shoe, so he went after your shoe. <laughs> Go on. Yeah. <laughs> you rolled a 14 to 15 to clear. Damn it. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Do you know the question I'm asking? No, I don't. No, she really doesn't know. 
What is so special about you to the people, to the worshippers of of Yuri? And as someone who worships Yuri, I feel like I should know this. I'm really good at my job. Mm. And, um, what does this one letter say? Letter that's in Celestial? No, 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 no. Uh, one, I was picking up a creepy letter to. Elaine was picking up a creepy letter to demonstrate. Something, um, something, something, something hot, luscious melons. I think that's a compliment. Uh, so yeah, I I don't know where I'm keeping those hot, luscious melons, but I have them. They're right in front of you. <laughs> you made this character. The answer is I right guess. under your nose. Well, about a foot down, but still. I honestly can't tell if you're thick or dodging the question. Parts of her are thick? DM, go sit in the corner. Nope. <laughs> but why the people of Yuri? It seems to me more than the fact that they just know you, because not all of them are complimenting you on your melons. <laughs> For hell, why do all of them know you? I'm really, really good at my job. <laughs> I mean, it's such a horrible liar. <laughs> See, I can't even tell if she's lying. <laughs> if you're really good at your job, why are you just with us? To, fur- to further myself on the path to enlightenment. And who gave you those orders? Or were they your own decision? Well, a little... Well, it was a mutual agreement. With? You know, my folks and the church, you know, it was it was an agreement. Uh. Uh. What? I mean, I don't want to be rude. Uh Uh-huh. But what is it about your parents? I heard them mentioned a surprising number of times. Especially since, correct me if I'm wrong, you weren't born in the city. Well, yes, I've done quite a bit of travel, actually. Ask her where she was born. (laughs) Where were you from originally, though? Home? (laughs) Oh, God damn you. (laughs) (laughs) And you tell me to sit in the corner. Yes, you do sit in the corner. Nope. And that is where... This music randomly starts <laughs> again. And it randomly stops. There is the music I'm looking for. <laughs> you dick. <laughs> There you go. Why does it matter? I mean, where are you from? Well, about as early as I can remember, I was from, insert town name here, (laughs) 
That's literally uh, the name of the town. Yes, it is now. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, you know, it's a town somewhat far away. You know, it's a town, you know, at the outskirts of the city's jurisdiction. He's from the kingdom of nowhere. And I was raised by my, well, parents. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll make you a deal. Huh? We both cut the crap. I tell you about my life, you tell me about yours. I'm afraid I can't really make a deal like that. I'll go first then anyway. Well, I was going to read this letter, but I guess you're going to start talking anyway. Yep. Okay. So. Oh. Oh. Well, no, I, that's not cute. He might start drooling on her crotch. <laughs> <laughs> so, like every other male in the vicinity. <laughs> well, I am from an outsider plane. Originally, originally a descendant of the genie. Abandoned a long time ago. And raised by... by raised by a very nice group of people. Brother. Mother, father, brother. Of course, I didn't know my past at the time. And then, well, there's a traumatic event. Thank you. Sorry. Um, and I freaked out and discovered my whole elemental handy business. That sounded worse than I meant it. <laughs> That's what his powers are now called. <laughs> God. Um, and realized exactly what I was. And at that point, wanted to tame myself, so I joined the monk order. And uh, with the exception of some fast forwarding, that that pretty much brings it up to today. That's kind of a sad story. I suppose so. I try to look the moment of it. Don't mind where I am now. Oh god, the urge to be really cheesy and slightly creepy is very <laughs> difficult. <laughs> also, or I get, also, or I get the fuck out. I reckon they'll raise an eyebrow at him. I just noticed that you were there. <laughs> Like, I just now know the fuck out. It's like, fuck it. The, ch the church does not serve me alcohol. Yes, but I'd prefer it if you sat at another table for a moment. Again, raises an eyebrow. We're having goody two-shoes talk. Go away. 
You know, for a group of people who are so damned and determined to call me an ally, you certainly don't want me around when I'm actually feeling sociable. Was it really necessary to be mean to him like that? Well, I don't know how much he heard. I wasn't paying attention. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yes. And I told it to you specifically. That's all. Uh, okay. Uh, I think I'm going to read this last letter now, if you don't mind. Have fun. And he goes back to his drink. Reading the letter written in Celestial, dun dun dun. Okay, it is a letter from her mother wishing her well. And basically, standard gossip, standard gossip, standard gossip, along with a well wish from her father. Ah. Teleported. <laughs> Just while they're while they're doing actual stuff in chat. Aww. She kinda like looks over at the rest of the sack. Hmm. Is the silk robe also pink? No, it's a standard silk robe. Okay, cool. Maybe keep the robe. Hmm. Well, obviously, the weird shit is still in the sack. She tucks the one good letter in her backpack and... Pretty much shoves everything else into the, the rucksack. Oh, by the way, one of the gifts is a small leather pouch filled with peanuts. Yum. Salted peanuts? Yes. It is a salty nut sack. <laughs> Things I approve of. <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, I'll be right back. Okay. okay. Uh, I think I'm going to stop recording at this point. Yeah, I think okay. I'm done. Okay, you are.